All right, welcome back to the next episode of the Ramblin' Rebels podcast. Uh, today we're here with Enrique Delgado. Hi, thank, thank you for having me. Yep, no problem. Uh, this is the 10th episode, and, you know, Enrique, tell us a little bit about yourself. You know, you played soccer. We just came out of a winning game uh, a couple days ago, so how, how does it feel? It know? feels very, very awesome, you know, coming from eighth grade, not winning a single game until last Monday. It, it feels really thrilling thrilling to say the least i think thrilling would be the a perfect word to say uh but you know seeing as it's been so long since like your eighth grade winning that like who was who was on the team when you were in eighth grade i think the only people that are on the team now that were there since my eighth grade year were craig matt and chance moncilius and that's it everybody else has either left the school or graduated man was... so like who 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 um who graduated? Colton Wilson, Colby Wilson, uh, Devlin Darwin, uh, Daryl Morsey, Kies Bernard, those Logan, Loving, those are just a few that I can think of right above right off my head. What was y'all's record uh, your eighth grade year? You said that was the last time y'all won a game. Pretty sure it was one in however many games we that played. That was the only one. Yeah, it was one in <laughs> eight. And every other year has been either 0 and 10. I think my sophomore year and junior year were 0. We're 0, 2, and 7. We tied twice with the same two teams two years in a row. And then now senior year we were 1 and 2 so far out of 18 games. So you guys have you guys have played three games this year? Yes, so far. We awesome. have won tomorrow against Christ Episcopal School in Covington, and then Friday we have one against Bel Air in Baton Rouge. Awesome. So, uh, Noah, you I saw that you were in that picture. Uh, you were you were in the back for that picture. Uh, are you, what, what's your what's your plan? Are you planning on playing soccer uh, this year? Okay. So this is a story. They were really desperate for a goalie because Peyton Gilcrease was sick and he did not come to school and that's their, their goalie. Mm-hmm. So, I got a text from Craig that um, they needed a goalie. So I pulled up to the school like an hour before the game, and I had to learn everything I had to do. In I had one to, hour. In one hour. How many goals? Did, how many shots did you block? Did you block uh, any? I, I don't remember, but you, uh, it was a decent amount. You blocked a couple. It was one of them was pretty nice. <laughs> one of them he had the one-handed in the corner. I was. Yeah. Oh my god. Do you do you plan on playing this year? Um, I don't. I'm focusing on powerlifting and indoor track. So. What about like a like as a backup, like in case Peyton is sick again, you would do, would you do it again? I mean, if they need me again, I know somewhat what I'm doing now. <laughs> so if they need me again, I'll I'll come. Awesome. So, uh, Enrique, you know you're a big soccer guy. Do you plan on doing soccer in like college? Yes, I'm planning to go to ULL. Mm-hmm. for men's soccer if that doesn't work out you know either focus on the career going that I'm going for which is astronomy mm-hmm. or if not I'll just transfer to another school or you know apply to a different school out of state or in state mm-hmm. for to play soccer so what's some like uh, going into the astronomy thing uh, what's like your interest in astronomy I've always had an interest in astronomy as a kid I've been watching NASA with the launches to the moon or just out of space and I'm just very I just want to know more about the unknown right. of space mm-hmm. but yeah I know uh, I know a lot of uh, I know a couple of people that want to do astronomy but like what what are you focusing on doing like in astronomy like do you want to work for like NASA do you want to like go to space do you want to build ships do you want to I'll, I'll work things? for NASA like for me being like an astronaut going to the National Space Center, I don't really have an interest in going there. I just like want to research about you know the different universes, the different planets, mm-hmm. the gravity or whatever of right. space. That's yeah. Do you think uh, since you're into astronomy, do you believe aliens are real? Yes, I do believe that we are not the only hum like human beings in our universe. Uh, there has to be some some something else. Out yeah. there, 
Even like even if it's not humans, I think that probably like there's got to be like a plant, like an animal, animal like, or, or something. An animal or something that's got to be out there. What about you, Noah? What do you think? You know, I wrote I wrote about this on my on my ACT. I took the writing portion. It was this exact question: Do you think that NASA should keep looking on other planets for life forms? And I wrote yeah, cause like there has to be a different planet where they have some sort of like, like life a different form. breed. Yeah, yeah, they they gotta have something. They gotta have, have something. like humans with gills or like. Yeah. Oh, that that like, would be pretty awesome. That would be pretty awesome. Oh, mermaids. I need gills. Yeah, they might have mermaids <laughs> or like something like that, dude. I don't know. But like, uh, so what's some what's some of your hobbies outside of outside of school and soccer? Do you really like what's some what's some of your? I know you play video games. Yes. Uh, so what what are your like? I always ask this question. What's your top five? Top five games? And if you can't get five, that's all right, because I, I don't even play five. Uh, <laughs> all right, first, I, I have, like, a love-hate relationship with this game. Mm -hmm. I haven't played it in a few months because of the new Call of Duty. Mm -hmm. It is Rainbow Six Siege. Ugh. That game I've been playing since launch. Yep. Number two. Uh, it could be multiplayer, single player. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have to say God of War 2018 and 2022. Just God of War series in general. I agree. I agree. You know, uh, game of the year. It's coming yes. up. It is. It's very close. And what what was your vote for game of the year? This year? This year. God of War. God of War. Of course. Okay. It has uh, to Elden, be God of War. Elden Ring is close, but I think God of War... Elden Ring but and the God thing of is, War is are like, so close that it's it just comes down to the, like... Yeah, the votes. Yeah. But it, the thing is, is like so to fast. get the God of War Ragnarok, you have to play the first game mm -hmm. to know what's going on in Ragnarok. Right. But in Elden Ring, you have like one complete game, but the story is kind of yeah. You gotta you gotta like place. research the yeah. story. And like some some of the Ragnarok. artifacts in Elden Ring have the story on it. Yeah, you gotta like piece it together. Yeah. But like Ragnarok, I feel like gives you that story. Like mm -hmm. it really it really shows. Like what? What it's about? Like it's the, like a the story. Yeah, the development of how like Kratos comes to terms with whatever. Mm -hmm. I don't want to spoil it, but yeah. <laughs> you know, he uh, he. I feel like it's it's a really it's a better story. Elden Ring's like, Elden Ring is a lot more diverse. I think. Yeah. In like the things that you can do, but but. I'm I'm a big fan for story games. I like yes. the story. So like oh, you know, yeah. hundred percent. That's my take. But. Uh, Let's go. Let's go. That's number why for number three is Ghost of Tsushima. Agreed. That game, <laughs> man. That game is so good. The storyline is incredible. Ghost of Tsushima is I've definitely never played. It's it's pretty much you're a you're a like a samurai. A samurai in medieval Japan. That's it. Yeah. It's just you go around, you get to kill a bunch of people with a Double samurai monks. sword. Yeah. That sounds awesome. It is. There's like fire bombs and all this other stuff. What's right. number four? Number four. I have to give it to, oh man, I would just say GTA. GTA? Yeah. Playing it safe, you know, yeah. keeping, it, keeping it level. Mm -hmm. That's not safe. That, I mean, honestly, <laughs> well, not it's, safe for kids. it's not safe for kids, but it's safe as okay. a well-round yeah. game. You know, everybody pretty much enjoys that game. Everybody pretty much played it or heard of it or watched yeah. videos of it. Yeah. It's Mario Bros. <laughs> yeah, so so what's going on with number five? Number Let's go. Five. Number five does it doesn't have to be a bad game. Mm -hmm. It could be kind of like a mid game, but you you I, you would say I, it's I, worth I was mentioning. thinking about this, but I got two for number five. Okay. The COD series. That's fair. And Naruto Storm Four. Oh. I haven't even thought about that one yet. So uh, so what's so what 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 makes them tied? Would you say? I mean I've. Since I was young playing Call of Duty, mm -hmm. and I've always liked it playing with my brothers and sometimes my sister and my dad. And I've always had, you know, the childhood of playing Call of Duty, especially Black Ops 2 mm -hmm. and Modern Warfare 2. Right. And for the Naruto, since, you know, I recently started watching anime, not that long, like a couple, like a year ago maybe, mm -hmm. and Naruto being my favorite anime, and playing that game playing all the storms and just like following the story getting every game right it's pretty much watching the anime in the game yeah it is you know storm 4 i really enjoyed that uh because you can it dips a little bit into the next generation yeah. as well 
Uh, but you know, who's your who's your favorite to play as? Play in as Storm? in yeah. So who's who's your main? Please do not say me this though. Uh, Toby Rama. Toby Rama. That's a new one. Mm-hmm. I have not heard many people main Toby Rama. You know, I've I I like to go uh, as the young Obito to mm. young Kakashi. Those two are pretty yeah. like pretty good. Uh, but you know, getting out of the the nerd stuff, you know, the weeb, uh, the weeb, weird stuff. Uh, so what's we always bring up food on this podcast. That's mm-hmm. a reoccurring theme every uh. single episode. <laughs> so with Thanksgiving just passed, I think it's still relevant to ask. What was your favorite dish that you had this past Thanksgiving? It was, let me see, it was, what was that, it was like yellow rice? It was like rice with corn, and like, I don't know. And I think I know what you're talking it's about. Like, it's yellow rice with corn and like peas and whatever, and like carrots. Corn, peas, and carrots. Yeah, that's a, uh, I think that's just wild like rice. Spanish, Spanish rice. I don't know. I, th- I think that's what it is. Wild right? rice. Wild rice. Wild is rice. that what you call it? All right. I, wild probably. Rice. I don't know. And then, uh, with turkey and ham together, mm-hmm. beside the sauce because the turkey's you know very dry. Oof. Oh with, man. The turkey uh, was dry, dog. Yeah, it's always dry. Turkey's dry. Nah, man. Yeah. My turkey was juicy. I know uh, a way that it was uh, juicy, but it was still dry. Yeah. Oh, um, Mister Mister Clemo was talking about it actually. Uh, the way that he makes turkey is, I forgot like some of the small things, but one of the things he said <coughs> was that he puts it like in a bucket of salt water and leaves it for like a long time, so like it evens mm-hmm. out into the meat and stuff. That like just that. tenders it. It yeah, but like it, it also gives like flavor into the meat. Yeah, like softens the salt, it. The salt will get into the meat. So, you know, I, I'm a really big turkey guy. I'm not a really big ham guy. Really? You know, I don't. I don't really care too much for ham. Like I like ham bacon. is the best. I yeah. I like lunch meat. I don't know. I don't know what it is about ham lunch <laughs> meat, but I just I cannot. It's so it's so weird to me. I don't know. I'm a big turkey guy though. I love turkey. Turkey. Mm. Gotcha. So, so what's like? What's your favorite dessert? Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. I don't really have a dessert. No desserts. Nah. No desserts. No nah, just the main. What? The main dish and that's it. The main dish. So your family never has dessert. No, nah, we don't really do desserts. I don't really have desserts either. I'm you don't have honest. desserts either. It's just, it's, just, it's just the main dish with a drink and that's it. I mean, well, well, it's, uh, well, we did have cheesecake, but like no one, yeah, no one ate that's it. That's kind of my situation. Like we had a bunch of desserts at the thing, but I didn't eat any. Yeah, oh, we had brownies, <laughs> cake, yeah, boy, all types of stuff. Yeah, they got, they, so, you got like a, we had a bunch of stuff. It's just I didn't, I didn't really care too much for sweet stuff. That's just me though. Mm-hmm. Are, y'all, are y'all happy for like Christmas coming up? Yes. Oh my God, yes. Christmas Dude, is I'm the hyped, best though. holiday. I'm gonna be honest. Christmas is my favorite. Like two, week, two weeks good, off of school. Like that come too. On. Like, oh. I thought it was three weeks. No, it's two weeks. Yeah, it, it's, it's two weeks two in one day, because teachers. Yeah. Yeah. So like, I think I think Christmas is the best, because like you know just there's so much hype around it. Yeah. And it really deserves. And everything's like half off exactly. or something and the, yeah. the deals are crazy black friday did y'all go black friday shopping no no actually i did not because you want to know why Look. it's now whatever that week is the whole like every single day is like black friday yeah the deals are pretty much lasting for like two weeks now yeah it's not just friday it's not friday anymore. it's so it's strange honestly it's like oh black friday coming up all right every store makes it 75 percent off <laughs> and cyber monday it's like Everything's already on sale the past like two weeks, and then yeah, Cyber and Monday they just hype it up more. Yeah, and then everybody, either way, everybody buys online. Yeah, that's so, true. Uh, well, I, I did know. not buy many much stuff online. I, I bought most of my stuff in store. I bought actually. all the Christmas presents that I'm getting for people online. Uh, I didn't. I don't. I like to go shopping, but I haven't. I just don't have like time. You know, I got. I got between working and school and life. You know, life. Are you still working at uh, Dunkin'? I am still working at Dunkin'. Mm. I. When well, you gonna come in clutch with the donuts, dude? I'm telling. You know what? Just bring them. I donuts. work tonight. I'll bring y'all some donuts tomorrow. How about that? All right. I'll bring y'all. I'll bring y'all some. Donuts. I'm gonna give you one. I'm gonna go into PE class and give you one. I'm gonna bring y'all some donuts tomorrow. 
So or you just give me one during the second hour. Or second hour, that's true. That's true. So what do you what do you think about that uh the project? I mean the, it, it's it's I mean it's the last project we're gonna do for her for the year. Yeah, that's sad. I really like that class. Me too. Mythology was so much fun. I I really don't feel like taking speech. I, I, I wanted to change the food and nutrition. I'm so lucky I chose food and nutrition. Like I I I'm so glad I chose that. Next but, year I'm gonna have to do mythology and speech. It's so, it's so I'm not taking the English next year. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's really fun if you're like into that stuff. Like I've I've always been like really into like yeah myth- yeah like mm-hmm. Greek and Norse and not so y'all have like tests. Oh, yeah, yeah. Just have, like, we had tests like every few weeks. Yeah, we had this, one like, big. Test. We had one big test for the Egyptian stuff and you know, everybody it was, it was, was confused. It was Egyptian and Greek together. It was. Yes. Yeah, it was. It was. They had and then we had just a big Norse test. Yeah, the Norse one was. Pretty easy. Yeah. Not nah, not easy, but it was, it was like, like the stories were small stories yeah. that we went over, not ones that we like really like covered like huge. Right, right, right. But so, what would y'all find like most interesting about the Egyptian and Greek uh, mythology? I don't like Egyptian. I yeah, hate they, they, Egyptian they were they were, it, it, they were all the same people pretty much. Yeah, it's it's it, pretty much all just copying each other. Yeah. There's always a god of gods, there's always a god of water, there's always a god of like fire, there's always a god of blah blah blah. Nur- uh, nurturing and fertility, fertility and arrows like, and like the hand sun, sanitizer. The they always had a they always had a weird hand explanation. Yeah. yeah. They always had a weird explanation for like everything, like the sun, the moon. And then everybody is like the the, the son of or like the sister of like, yeah, everybody's everybody's related to the gods. Yeah, everybody's like incest. Yeah, there's a whole lot of incest everywhere. It's it's crazy. It's interesting to hear. Um, no, it's <laughs> so Enrique, you, who do you have uh, winning the World Cup? Argentina. 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 You Why? seem very firm on that. Why? Why? It's the team. The team. I've, what about I've, the team? I've always been rooting for Argentina since like, since kid. Since, kid. since since I was a kid, sorry. <laughs> so so uh, what do you what was did you watch the uh, U.S. versus Iran? Game? Yes, uh, when Pulisic scored the first goal and the only goal of the game when he, when he got you know hit in the the balls uh-huh. with the goalie's knee, I was, I was like, wow, man, you know he's not gonna be a dad. But now he's a founding. Well, he, now he's a hero. And now he's you know, a hero. Yeah. He he sacrificed for his country. Yeah. It you know it is what it is. But I kind of, <laughs> I kind of, I really wanted to watch it, but you know I had I had. Sixth I hour I was in was, I was in seventh hour and uh, Sydney Conoy was just talking about. It. I was like, I told her already in fourth hour medical term. Uh-huh. I was like, don't anybody who's watching it don't talk to me about it. And then during seventh hour, she was talking, and she spoiled the score, and I was like, "Dude, really?" Yeah, uh, I hated that, dude. I hate getting spoiled for stuff. I was really that's like, I think I I beat back to back to Ragnarok. I mm-hmm. beat that game in three days because I did not want to get spoiled. Mm-hmm. I just sat there and played the game day and night. Like I stayed up all night. It was like it was so. Did bad, you dude. shower though? I did shower. <laughs> I, I could confidently say I did shower. I did. I did shower. <laughs> Complete one mission, take shower, then the rest of the day just Yeah, go grind. through a cutscene, go shower. Like, I... <laughs> grind. On the grind. I am on the grind. But, you know, uh, so... Enrique, what do you see coming into... Coming out of that game with... Like, was that a really, like, difficult team, you would say? Uh... They had potential to beat us. But I think we came out with... We played with heart. We didn't play with swagger. just... Yeah. We play with a lot of swag, especially with Cameron Matt C two. He took on eight people by himself, making like ten spin moves. Yeah, that was, that was pretty awesome. That was so do you do you think it? Uh, do you think coming out of that game, like, do you, are, is that going to be the only game that we're going to win, or no. do you think this year is a, like a the, this good, year is going to be a good season? So we should. Yes. You think people should gather at the games? Yes, and come I. To the games. I made a bet to my mom and dad. That if we win more than five games, I am dying my hair. You're dying your hair. I'm dying that my hair. That is big. What news. color? Uh, like a whitish, like a, a whitish white? silver. S- you so might well you're just dying your hair silver. Or like a gray. 
that's a that's big news. If you win five games, you're dying your hair gray. Mm-hmm. Okay. That's huge. Honestly, mm-hmm. I I think that would look good, but like you know, that's that's still big. Yeah. You think they would allow that? I don't know. I, I need to talk to Miss Hollis. She's probably gonna say no, but I might I might do it. Just cause. Yeah. I or, think or we should bring that to her. You probably know, during. If you win. Yeah. Maybe during like what. Like if we win, I I don't know this. It's, how many it's, how it's, many it's, games would you say it would take? Like, cause we we we've, we've done three so far, and one of them has been won. Mm-hmm. So like, the end of the year, maybe toward January mm-hmm. or like the month of January, we have district games. Right. So you know, SEC, Homer Christian, uh, you know, the Christian Catholic schools, and they're, I I can say they are really good. They have good players. And in the middle middle of the season, there there's some teams like East St. John. Uh, I never heard of Bel Air or Christ Episcopal. Mm-hmm. We play against Destrehan. They've been good, but I've heard recently I have a friend that goes there. That they haven't been pretty as good as they were. Mm-hmm. So you know we might have a chance during the mid season. Awesome. You know I I think I think I'm gonna be going. I I you know I played like soccer like past like what two years. Yeah. Two years. Yeah, and then. This year I had to back down. Uh, I was, it, it's upsetting, but I know I was terrible, so it's okay. <laughs> you know, uh, Noah. You, you, you had banned. I did. I did. Uh, you know. But speaking of that, uh, Kobe is like, what did, did he do? Like any? We had him on the podcast, mm-hmm. last, you know. So what? He said he was really excited for the game. Yes. Uh, Everybody was excited for that game. So what? What? What's some like big things that you saw out of Kobe? Like did was there anything he, that really stood he out? He made a lot of good saves, mm-hmm. getting the ball out, like away from the other players' feet. Right. You know he made he they they could have scored at least what maybe two three goals, but Kobe, our yeah. defense especially Kobe and Luke, mm-hmm. or you know yeah. I just say the defense in general, but down the sides Kobe Kobe did a pretty really good job of stopping the ball and getting either the ball out or up the field awesome you know I'm, I think you know we should uh, I think a lot of people are gonna start coming to the games myself included I'm gonna start coming back uh, you know seeing as I played and I kind of like understand what's generally happening. understand what's happening like not fully but I mm-hmm. still generally understand it you know it's a it's a lot more enjoyable seeing the people that you know doing it so uh, we're gonna before we close out we're gonna ask you uh, one more question mm-hmm. so there is a you, you, Sicily's in applause. Yes. Your opinion. They need to, you know, re- reopen it. I agree. They do need to reopen it. That place after every game or any, like, anything. 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 You, you just go there and you're like, oh, this is this it's is paradise. Best. It's literally the best. So, they have re- they have opened a new restaurant, restaurant in yeah. that area. Like, or to replace Sicily, Sicily's. It mm-hmm. is a pizza place. Yeah, it, it is, is a pizza, pizza place. No. So, have you tried it? Yet? No. 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 Okay. Is it even open yet? Is it? A- I don't. I think they're like building it and repairing still building it. it. I think so. No. What do you do? You do you expect Sicily's out of it, or do you expect like? Because we're just gonna assume Sicily's is top. No, it, it is top. It is the best. Just hands down. They need to bring it back. What, who, who even are they? Who, who, who's the I don't other, know. Who's the I don't other know. I think they said it was like Todd's or something, Miss Lyons said. But yeah, I think it was like a... Zoom. I'm not sure. But we're going to... We're we're trying to convince Miss Lyons to bring us to Sicily's to try it. Mm-hmm. Sicily's. The new, quote, the, the, the new yeah. Sicily's uh, to try it. And, you know... Oh, and, you we, and we're going to convince her to bring us on a field trip to go eat. Sicilies. I don't know where they have another we Sicilies, but another we are going to find one and we're going to go. <laughs> we need to find another Before Sicilies. This in. And we're going to, you know, we're going to bring that back on the podcast. It's probably going to be a me and Noah thing. Uh, once we once we try it, we're going to come back and we're going to talk about it, you know. But what are you do you are you going to go try it whenever it opens? Do you think it's going to live up to Sicilies? I don't think it's going to live up to Sicilies, mm-hmm. but I think I don't know. Everybody might go into that place saying like, "Oh, you know, we miss Sicily's and people might like it," mm-hmm. and like forget about Sicily's. But no, I personally, I think Sicily's is a very special place. Yes, in my heart. I don't think anything can replace it. Ev- after- Especially the games in the back. Yes. Oh my god, 
it was I used to balls I used to eat at least like five pizzas in like two minutes and exactly. s- run straight to the arcade exactly and, just and then they had ice cream and ice Egg cream cones bags. that you get with the buffet like yeah. that's crazy like infinite ice cream it was literally it was the best thing ever but thank you so much for being on the podcast today this is closing out number 10 uh anything else you want to add what y'all getting for christmas what do y'all want for christmas Ooh, christmas uh no you go first <laughs> okay so i'm not a, i'm not a big like Big present guy, so money, money, mm-hmm. money. You know, uh, honestly, I wanna, I want out of Christmas. I just wanna get the Norco. I want my my present from Santa to be that, uh, you know, the Norco parade goes good. Mm-hmm. Cause I don't wanna fall and die. I have the tuba on. I don't wanna <laughs> fall over and like break my neck or something. Or just fall on someone's head and have. To yeah, I, my gift will be, I don't fall. During the Norco Christmas mm. parade. How about have you? Have you fell in any other parades? I have not, no. But I have the tuba on this time. Um, I don't know. I think I might, probably. Mm. I probably have tripped, but not like a visible trip, like a step over my shoe yeah. or something. So what what were you uh, expecting for Christmas? Well, I asked Santa already. Mm. Well, I sent a letter. Mm. Going back to the weeb stuff. Mm-hmm. You like Demon Slayer? I do. I'm going to get a... I asked Santa for Zenetsu's katana. Oh wow, that is a very how, so. How what is the price range on that? A uh, they have a mini one that's like like a keychain for like mm-hmm. ten dollars. They have a sharp one mm-hmm. for eighty dollars, and they have a battle ready one for a hundred eighty. Honestly, I would dump a hundred eighty dollars on that. I, I would know two hundred dollars. Facts on that a battle ready. The Renaissance sword. Festival next year, I am buying the katana. Dude, at the Renaissance Festival this year. Yeah, the 18 to yeah. buy one. Next year, I'm going to get one. I'm going to get one next year, too. Uh, it's, but, you know, thank you so much for being on the podcast today, and uh, have a good rest of your day. No, thank